Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanted to go over Bowmaster as a bossy mule. I know before in the past I have done a video on this and I did a little bit of a video series for me bringing this from level 200 to about like 210 to 215. And I kind of gave my overall thoughts and opinions then. But at the moment, at that time of the recording, I was not doing like low main or Damien. And I, I feel like I wasn't suited to actually give this class a proper review. So in today's video, that is what we are going to be doing is going over bowmaster as a bossing mule now that i have a little bit more experience and funding on the class so as usual guys i want to go over the training and kind of let you guys know how that was overall for bowmaster it's pretty average it's nothing crazy it's definitely not bad by any means um it does have pretty good mobility now that it has the portal that i can place down but overall i would just say it's pretty basic pretty average i'd give it about a six out of ten there's nothing special with bowmaster's training i do want to go over my equips here real quick before i get into to my pros and cons for the class so pretty standard here for you guys pretty much two line everything and we are missing a few equips we are using an apso lab or a fake apso lab weapon actually so keep that in mind we do not have any golics on this at the moment there's a lot of things that are actually missing easy stats so i do have to still fund this a bit more but just so you guys can see the gear is nothing crazy and as you'll see from some of the clips from behind this class is very 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 good and that is almost an understatement here's the stats we're sitting around uh 12 about 12k stat currently nothing crazy the boost nodes i believe are maxed on this yes so storm of arrows quiver bear barrage and then the boost nodes are all maxed um one thing that i want to go over real quick for you guys is you do want to make sure that you max storm of arrows quiver barrage and inhuman speed and then focus on your boost nodes hurricane magic arrow and final attack these are the five boost nodes that you do want to work on first and then as you get further and further with bowmaster you can work on maxing vicious shot maple goddess blessing and then maybe even silhouette mirage as you get further and further on with the class but now that we've gone over the gear the nodes the funding on the class how the training is i do want to get into the bossing and the pros and cons uh for this class as a bossing mule first things first i do want to start by saying that bowmaster i believe is probably the best bossing mule that you can make currently at the moment it takes the least amount of nodes the least amount of funding it has the best amount of damage the simplest to play overall i it's just one of the best out there so to start off I want to go over the pros first we'll just start with the main attack it is a hurricane class so it's very simple to use there's not a lot of thinking that goes in when you're playing this class it's very very simple i think joe just did a, a pretty much a guide on how to burst with this class and as you guys can see it's pretty much just like you click a few buttons and then hold down hurricane so one thing that i always like about boss mules is when they're the simpler the better it's just easier to play you don't have to think too much when you're doing it you just go in kill the boss get in get out and then you're done with it and that's exactly like what bowmaster does except it does it at a very excelled level because of how good this class actually is uh, and that's something that i do want to talk about lapping off of that bowmaster has very very high damage output and very high dpm it's also a two minute class and its burst skills that it does have last from 30 seconds all the way up to more than a minute so you're almost always bursting on this class which is really 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 nice it means you can go from boss to boss a lot quicker it doesn't take up as much time and overall it just makes things more enjoyable as a whole i do want to say as well real quick before i forget that these two passives reckless hunt and speed mirage those are the two most important passives that you do want to have on and they are toggles so make sure that you always have these on when you are bossing or doing anything with this class another pro that this class has is it is a lifesteal class and it does also have a skill that is called silhouette mirage that pretty much spawns door a bishop's door every 50 seconds so it's very very hard to die on this class you can switch from arrow to arrow with quiver cartridge one of them is for bossing the gold one and then one of them is for healing the red arrow blood arrows so that's one pro it's very hard to die on this class which makes bossing just that much easier and yeah i guess the final pro that i want to touch up on again and i kind of went over this earlier is that it's a very easy to learn class um it doesn't take a lot of time to learn this class by any means it's definitely not like a ho young cadena adele kind of thing where you have to focus on keeping a bunch of stuff up pressing a bunch of buttons very simple pretty much click a few buttons for your burst hold down hurricane and that's about it you do have a debuff which is gritty gust which will slow down the boss and also give you a 90 percent damage buff increase on arrow blaster as well there's not too much to learn here guys super simple super straightforward so i think that wraps up most of the pros going into the cons uh there's really not that many of them and this is more of like a personal preference kind of thing like i said 
said earlier in the video the training isn't like crazy overpowered or anything but it's definitely not bad by any means so i guess i could you know kind of slip that in there as a con overall i think the movement is a little bit clunky er a little bit clunky on bowmaster it's definitely nothing bad by any means but again it's it's more so personal preference and maybe that's just because i play dell and i think adele feels smoother but a very minor con at that the other con which i mean it's it's really not even a con but if you're somebody who likes more of a complicated class bowmaster is very simple so some people may find it boring just holding down hurricane and and that's pretty much about it so if you are somebody who likes more of a complicated class this this might not be the class for you in terms of efficiency and, and optimizing money and nodes this is definitely going to be the class for you but you know if you just don't like to play on a class you might get bored on could be a con as well and like i said guys very minor cons here there's nothing really you know bad with bowmaster it's just personal things and i think that kind of wraps it up with the cons as well so now that i've kind of gone over everything as a whole oh and i did want to add to at the end of this before i forget this is one of the pros as well you don't need to have si and you don't need to have se for node slots so it just makes it that much easier to fill up these nodes with actual skill nodes and the boost nodes themselves the trios are very easy to get so you can pretty much spend like 400 nodes on this and, and be done with the nodes obviously if you want to max them it'll take a little bit more but it's very a very node efficient class so kind of going into my recap and wrapping things up here with bowmaster guys like i said earlier in the video this is literally the best boss mule that you can make so if you are new to the game and you are kind of wondering which boss mule should i do i hear this is good this is good this is good please 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 start with bowmaster it's going to be the best and most efficient way to start off your bossy mules because of how little funding it takes and how little of a node funding it does take so overall guys we have not given a 10 out of 10 to any bossy mule yet on this channel but if there's any class that is going to get a 10 out of 10 it's gonna be this class it literally has everything that you need you could maybe argue that it's a 9.5 because the training isn't like top tier but overall it's just a strict bossing mule it's a 10 out of 10 the damage output the two minute class the high uptime on burst the simplicity of the class the easy to fund nodes and gear it, overall it's just a 10 out of 10 super solid class very well rounded and yeah guys this is probably going to be the only 10 out of 10 bossing mule that gets this score unless there's like a new class that comes comes into maple or a class that gets like buffed so with that being said guys i think that's going to wrap up the video here today joe had just posted a guide to both bowmaster on the channel a few days ago so if you do want a little bit more information and a little bit more in depth on the class definitely go check out the video and like i said before in the videos in the past guys appreciate the support so so much you guys have been killing it lately we're almost at 2k subs on the youtube channel we're almost at about a thousand followers on the twitch so if you're not following the twitch go follow the twitch and if you're not subbed to the channel definitely drop a sub on the channel we're going to be posting much more frequently here going forward but yeah guys that's going to wrap up the video for today as always if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them in the comment section below so i will see you guys all in the next video and for now take it easy guys peace